What's up everyone, TechCloud here and in this video I'm going to show you the benchmark scores on iPhone 5s. I have installed all these for benchmark and in addition to that one I'm gonna test the Sun Spider. So let's run the first benchmark which is Geekbench 3 and as you can see it is showing that the processor speed is 1.3 gigahertz and the memory is 1 one gigabyte or thousand megabytes you can say so let's run the processor benchmark and see what score it gets so this is the result the single core score is 1413 and the multi core score is 2558 which is uh, good and impressive numbers now let's run the sun spider java benchmark on this device and this is the result and as you can see wow there it's uh, 400 uh, milliseconds which is I believe the highest that I've ever seen on any of the mobile devices I have seen uh, scores in 600s but this is the first time I'm uh, seeing a score of 400 milliseconds quite impressive now let's see the next one which is the 3d benchmark there was uh, some limitation in this benchmark because I've seen that uh, they have limited the iPhone to 60 frames per second and it can go beyond that. However, I have seen uh, Android devices running this benchmark more than 100 frames per second. So that might, might be the reason why one of the score is lower than expected but uh, maybe that's not the reason but i'm suggesting maybe this is one of the reasons because that's what i have noticed and as you can see the first one uh, the first uh, test it was actually the score was so good that uh, they didn't even bother to put the score and it was maxed out the next one which is the extreme uh, score it is uh, 10115 and the last one which is the unlimited score it's uh, 13,991 which is almost 14,000 that's an impressive score however if you compare this score with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S4 Advance then you will find that the, this score is quite a bit lower than S4 as you can see it scores above 17,000 and Sony Xperia Z Ultra it's also score close to 17,000 it's 16,800 so that might be the reason that might not be the reason but we will see later that what is the reason behind this one but that's how it is at this moment now let's check out the next benchmark which is the GFX bench I've already completed this test and uh, for both on screen and off screen and these are the results and once again you can see the numbers are very very impressive the off screen is very close to what we see on s800 and the on screen score is 36 frames per second so this is the first device that crossed the 30 frames per second barrier which uh, is quite impressive on this benchmark the reason being is that the iphone 5s resolution is less than 1080p resolution which is mostly the case the s800 mobiles are running so to me it looks uh, that both uh, gpus are very closely matched as far as the current gaming is concerned but because of the screen resolution the gpu in this device will seem to run the game much more smoother than the adreno 330 but that remains to be seen we will uh, compare later on but that's how at this moment s800 is quite a impressive processor as well so we'll compare later on so the next benchmark is the base x benchmark i have already run this benchmark and these are the results and once again it's very impressive uh, score on this benchmark and i haven't seen any device score that high on this benchmark so that's how this device scores on all these benchmarks i hope uh, that you have enjoyed the video and you have liked it 
if you like the video then press the like button and subscribe for more useful videos see you later bye